kid you know I am a snitch? Yeah, that's right. I'm a bitch. But this snitch is not going to get stitches. If you try to give me stitches, I just might kill you in self-defense and sleep eight hours that night. Now let me tell you some of the story. I wish I could remember what year it was. Uh, maybe I'll come back and maybe I'll Google it. But this is all. How many of you in Kinston, North Carolina, remember the night, the pool hall? What? what the, the pool hall, pastimes and billiards, pastimes, right in the parking lot beside the Galaxy of Sports bowling alley? You remember pastimes? Pastimes, billiards, the pool hall? Um, it, it, it used to be owned by Frank Owens, but then Mike, Mike Eubanks bought it. Now, Mike Eubanks had long, blonde hair going down the side and back, but it was bald up top. Looked like a real ugly, uh, uh, ugly, ugly motherfucker. Probably about 55 years old. Maybe 60, I'm not sure. But anyways... When I got banned from Pastimes and it was owned by Frank Owens, that's another story. But I got my revenge. <laughs> and he told me, don't you in all your life come back into this place. Well, 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 Michael Eubanks assumed to control the Pastimes. I started going back. Well, one night, I, I can't remember. I, I I think I was leaving or coming. And he said, and Jonathan Warlock was one of his bouncers. Now, Jonathan Warlock was a, I went to school with him to continue elementary school. One uh, time, not, one morning on the bus, we were arguing and I threw a quarter in his eye and he made him cry. <laughs> and I thought I was getting in trouble, but they told me not. Uh, but I went to the principal's, and he gave me my quarter pack. I, I didn't think I deserved the quarter, cause what I did. But you know, anyways, he was there, and Mike Eubank said, "Don't come back here anymore. I don't want your kind here." Probably mean because I didn't spend money, play pool. I just went there. Went aside and would leave. Oh, that pissed me off. That pissed me off. So I said, I, I hope your mom dies. He's like, she, she, he's like, and Jonathan Warlock heard this. And he's like, she, she, he's like, she's already dead. That pissed me off. If you're a good looking guy, you don't get, get kicked out of bars. Because they want to, even if you uh, just hanging out there and not spending money, the girls will come just because you're there. That really pissed me off. And back then, I really hated myself. I wish I could remember what year this was. 2000? 1997? I think it was 1998. I'll go look it up. But, I would ride my I'm a bicycle, leaving the bowling alley. And, ride pa and I would look uh, into the parking lot and pass them to see a lot of cars in there. Knowing that they were spending money, Mike, Michael, Mike Eubanks was making money. And I cannot go in and look at the girls inside. And I would be incensed every time I rode past that pool, 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 pool hall. So, case in point, if you're going to kick me out of a bar, you better make sure, you, you better make damn sure you don't got no skeletons in your closet. Because I will find them. And I will bring your ass down. Well, guess what? I called the DEA <laughs> a few times and told them there was drug activity. I forgot exactly what I told them. Marijuana. That's what it, was, it had to do with marijuana. Smoking the smell of selling marijuana. Smoking. I forgot. Well. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Guess what happened to that place? A year or so later, the motherfuckers got busted. They had a cocaine ring that was going on inside. Mike Eubanks and some of his top employees. The manager of the bar. So Mike, Mike Eubanks, when you get out of prison, if you're, if, if you're still, uh, if you see that his video, just know the reason you got busted, because I knocked on your ass because you would not let me into your bar. Not, uh, pull hall. I don't give a damn for my, I'm not spending money. You are going to treat me like a king. Well, I will bring your ass down. Until I, until I do become, get my hair transplants, and become a good looking guy, become a king, I demand to be, be, to be treated like a king, or there will be consequences. I will make you pay the fucking consequences. I don't give a goddamn what's right, what's wrong. If, if you do right by me, you're good. If you do wrong by me, it's wrong. Mike, Ray, Mike makes right, bitch. Power of the survival of the fittest, bitch. Yeah, it was in the newspapers. Let's see if I can find this. Okay. I can't find it. Anyways. Oh, if you don't if you want to give me some stitches, bring it on, motherfucker. I will not hesitate to kill you in self defense. Only in self defense. I'm sick I'm getting sick and tired of being pushed around. Now it's my turn to push the people around. And if I die, if you kill me, you can I die. So what? Until I get my hair transplant and it can look like this Photoshop and read right here. If I can look like this. Right here. Find the goddamn Photoshop. Until I can look like this right here. Instead of having to look like this right here. This is how I look now. They photoshopped this very picture and made me look like this. Look how much younger I look just with a, a little extra hair. Until this society cares enough about what matters to me to help me look like I do in my photoshop. If I die, I die. Shit happens. I don't want to live if I cannot look like my photoshop. But I will bring as many of you motherfuckers down to hell with you, with me too. Now, now, Mike, Mike Eubanks, you're doing time in prison. You got a record. All because of me, because you would not let me, because you banned me from your bar. You, God damn it, you banned me from your pool hall. I won't, I will not take, I ain't taking this shit anymore. If I have to bring myself down and bring you down, I will do that. You just give me the goddamn hair transplant and I'll chill. And just uh, let me be king by looking like a king. I'll stop demanding to be treated like a king. But until I look like I do in my Photoshop, I demand free ginger ale. I demand to be let into your night pool hall. If I don't spend money, that's just tough. I'm just one person. I I do not ask. I, yeah, I... I I expect that I will get this one way or another. Or you will pay. You better have. You better not have any fucking skeletons in your goddamn closet. Or you're going down, bitch. And I got people who can find. You got. You'd be amazed the ways I find out this shit. I may. I may look like a retard, but I'm not dumb. I've never. I, I've. I've been called a genius. But I really want to be a genius with my hair. If I, I was, if I was a true genius, I'd find a way to raise the money. Get me my goddamn hair transplants and I'll start tripping like this. But until I'm happy with myself, I will not tolerate you being happy when I'm left out in the cold. If I'm not, if I'm not, yeah. If I'm not a big fish, 
I, I, I do not accept being the average. I do not accept being below. I, 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 you better, you better treat me like a king, God damn it. I brought many people down. That makes me feel good about myself. Because if I can't look like a king, I can at least stroke my ego when I bring down those who piss me off. But just give me my goddamn hair transplants and I'll chill. Do you understand me? And you better hope I never get a terminal disease and find out I'm dying.